dashing through the snow in a one horse open slit. Excuse me, sir. My name is Saul, and this is my friend Jay here. I, I couldn't help but notice you didn't contribute anything to our tip jar here, and it's customary if you enjoyed the caroling that you tip whatever you think is fair. I didn't enjoy it. You guys are terrible. Uh, well, well, be that as it may, Mr. Sanderson. My name's not Sanderson. With Christmas weather on the corner, my friend and I want to do our part in spreading the Christmas cheer. I am not interested. The tips we want to help the underprivileged. Policy. My friend and I are self-proclaimed allies, and you too could be an ally by donating to help aid displaced political refugees. Uh, and cats um, with, uh, with, with childhood, childhood trauma. Oh my god. Severe! Maybe we need to settle on a cause, you know? Winging it's getting us nowhere. Uh, no, we're getting nowhere because you keep coming in with this goddamn cat thing. That's what I'm saying, I keep winging it. See, we're on the same page. We're absolutely not on the same page, but that doesn't matter. You just gotta trust me, all right? We find out what makes these people tick, and then we, we capitalize on their white guilt and quasi-wokeness. That's what works. Yeah, 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 I understand. I just I feel like I'm being underutilized here, man. I've got ideas that I really think could get money for our New Year's trip. All right, Jay, let's hear one of your ideas then. Well, I was thinking if we get a third to our group, we could really... All right, no, absolutely not. We're not bringing him into this. Why not? Because he's he's the worst. He's he's the closest someone can get to being a literal piece of shit. Fine, I won't call him. Jay, do not call him. Fine, I won't call him. What's up, you dicks? So you called Gavin? You yeah. Call he practically invented the caroling scheme. Could really use him. Jay, Gavin is basically a homeless person. If he knew anything I thought could help us make money, he wouldn't be a goddamn homeless person. Jay, well, what's going on, dude? Seriously, I appreciate the call. I accidentally swallowed one of those tracking chips I put in you know, stray dogs to find unwanted treasures and such. Sure. So, been rummaging through my shit all day to make sure I hadn't lost it. Sure. <laughs> could really use a break. It was this car of a beef. You in on the plan? Gavin, we've literally met dozens of times. This is my buddy Saul. <laughs> Name's Gavin, it's a pleasure. No, absolutely not. Do not fucking touch me. Dude, relax, you're embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? He just talked about how he was digging through his shit all day. I'm not gonna let him touch me. Did you even wash your hands? Absolutely not. You know the water in the city's toxic? What? It's fine, stop. Gavin, I'm glad you're here, man. We can really use your insight, man. We've been trying to carol to these people all day. We have no idea what we're doing. Talking to the right guy. Walk me through your process a little bit. So, me and Saul have been trying to go door to door all day to rich people, like trying to make up causes and everything. We just, we can't figure out one to settle. Well, you see, there's your problem. People don't care about the specifics of a cause. They just want to feel good about themselves for giving them one. That's why when I choose my targets, I look for signs that they got money to throw away. That's why I chose this path in life, because I can read people. Really? You chose to be homeless? Absolutely, my friend. What is a choice? All right, stop. We've been trying that all day. What kind of rich person is going to blindly throw away their money at a cause they don't care about? A one, a two, a one, two, three, and dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wonderful, just wonderful singing, boys. You know, when that song first came yeah, out... You know, we don't really give a shit. That's... Uh, actually, ma'am, if you like the song, it's all going to a great cause. Really? We're trying to spread the Christmas spirit by collecting donations. Yeah, we're, we're helping to fight against animal cruelty towards house pets. With Down syndrome. Yes, with Down syndrome. <laughs> really? Oh, those poor animals. <gasps> I know, it, it truly is a tragedy. It's, it's cold out there. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you. I'm gonna write you guys a check as soon as I can. Thank you. Can I 
offer anybody something to drink? I'm fine. I'm good. Do you have like a hot tea or anything? Oh, of course, dear. Ma'am, actually, we don't want to take up any more of your time than we, we have to. I know you have lots to do today, so if we could just collect your donation, we'll be on our way. Uh, of course, dear. I'll just be a moment. What the hell are you doing, man? What do you mean? This is the whole thing. We come in and capitalize on the old bag's blind generosity. I've been doing it to her for years. Wait, you know this woman? She's my cash cow. Nobody contributes to a bullshit cause faster than a lonely old white woman. And she pays in full every time. How does she not recognize you? Did you see those goggles she has on? She's as blind as a goddamn bat. Oh, that makes plenty of sense, Gavin. Uh, whatever, let's just get what we came for and get out. This place give me the creeps, man. Boys, it just warms my heart to see young men like you taking action against all the unfairness that goes on in this world. I like to think we're the real heroes. So many people are taking advantage of those less capable of standing up for themselves. It's nice to know they're boys like you who like to do the right thing. Well, you know, with so much injustice happening in this world, it's the least we could do. Jay? And we've spent so much of our lives sheltered and privileged. Jay. We thought that we thought it's time for us to share the wealth. Jay. What? Look. Oh, baby, I've waited a long time for this. Really? A knife? There's three of us and one of you. Shut up. You've taken a lot of money from me over the years, you homeless ginger fuck. My hair's actually brown. All these years I've been waiting for a chance to get my revenge. And now you bring me two more scheming hooligans on a silver platter. Did you really think I wouldn't catch on? I was uh, counting on it, actually. Gavin, shut up. To the basement! Move! Man, we really don't have to do this. Keep moving. Keep moving. Stop sniveling. Get on your knees. It's oh, one of those sex dungeon ultimatum type deals. <laughs> I'll bite the bullet on this one, fellas. And run the block what three the times. Oh, Jesus what? Christ. What the Kevin. fuck? God, zip it up and shut up. Worth a shot. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Because killing's not very Christmassy? What did you just say? Listen, ma'am, we're sorry we tried to swindle you out of your money. We, we were just, we're just dumb kids. We need a few bucks to have fun on the holidays. You know, haven't you ever been a dumb kid running around, making mistakes? If you have, then I promise we've learned our lesson. We'll stop our schemes. And, and we'll spend the entire rest of the holidays devoted to Christmas cheer. Okay. Then sing. What? You're carolers, right? Show me how you're going to be spreading the Christmas cheer. And sing like your lives depended what on it! What the fuck is happening? Okay. Now, Gavin!